This fight is not by might. We shine the law at night. That's why we lost the end before the start begins. This fight is not by might. You must understand that you can be in Lola and you are connected. You can be in Jaws and you are connected. You need to understand there is an angel your prophet carry. And when you are connected, distance is not a barrier. Long before the fight began, can defeat a man that has given victory. Fighting from victory. I'm fighting from victory. I'm fighting from victory. I'm fighting from victory. I'm fighting from victory. Somebody join the shirt. This fight is not by might, we shine the law at night. That's why we lost the end before the start begins. This fight is not by might. You must understand that you can be in Lola and you are connected. You can be in Jaws and you are connected. You need to understand there is an angel your prophet carry. And when you are connected, distance is not a barrier. I want us to pray. Yes, sir. Right where you are sitting. Yes, sir. But if you say you want to stand up, it's okay. You know, there are some people, they rise to the top. They rise to the summit of life. But all of a sudden, why or when they ought to be enjoying that success, that's when they find themselves crashing down. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that crash could be either drugs. Mm -hmm. I know of a well-known reggae artist from Nigeria. And um, he was even a big celebrity in New York. Uh, and he happens to come from the state that he came from. And he just passed last year. Mm -hmm. But I thought about him. He was very, very successful. Very, very successful. He made it big, but drugs finished him. Drugs finished him. Someone we grew up from Nigeria listening to, and he was a very, very good reggae artist. But one day I was just ruminating about him, and the Lord said, his witchcraft that pulled him down. But others who don't understand the spiritual will just say it was drugs. Then the Lord said, pray. And that's what we want to pray. Amen. Say, my Father, my Lord. My Father, my Lord. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Any evil power. Any evil power. From my background. From my background. That don't mind me rising. That don't mind me rising. But only to bring me down in life. As I pray now. Be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. You will never, never bring me down. Any witchcraft power from my background that don't mind me rising but intends to bring me down at the summit of my success as I pray now. What are you waiting for? Be destroyed by fire. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Batala kaparo kosekete. Mantala baradia. Gere ne moko dosa kata badikata. Roko sekete broto kogo sa kata. Bala kaparo kosekete. 
Manta la baradia kusata palekete Manta paroko sekete Baka paroko sekete le brote kusakata Manta paroko sekete Manta la baradia Manta paroko soto pelekete Alleluia Manka paraka sikata vale that which the power is destroyed in Jesus mighty name of God. Amen. Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy, O Lord. Hallelujah to receive glory. Hallelujah for God Tell him And all things are for thy pleasure They are, O oh Lord, and worthy Thou art worthy, O oh Lord Thou art visit to heaven. Even when I was privileged to come before 
at the throne of God. And I mean everything I say in this one. That there is none holy as the Lord. There is none beside him. Because I've been privileged to come close to him. And I know that Moses was very correct. Moses was the one who wrote that song. Moses, the servant of the Lord, he wrote that song. There is none holy as the Lord. There is none beside him. Neither is there any rock like our God. Moses wrote it because he has seen the Lord himself. He has seen what the Lord, who the Lord is and what he can do. That's why I agree with him. There is no holy as the Lord. Now, somebody said, but I have not seen him here, but he has been good to you. Yes. Yes, he has kept you alive. He brought you here. Yes, oh, neither is any woman Father in heaven, we thank you, we give you all the glory, all the honor, all the power, all the praise, all the majesty and the dominion. Father, unto you are we gathered, reveal secrets to us, may our hearts indict a good matter. Take all the glory, O God, save souls tonight in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. Champion, shout fire. Shout Ororo. Shout Muzozo. Shout Mafura. They all mean anointing in different languages. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to thank the person of the Holy Spirit for the privilege to be here. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And also want to thank our father, Papa Joshua Igila. Say we love you, Papa. We love you, Papa. Amen and amen. There is none holy yes, as sir. the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. yes. All right, be gracious enough to go to Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. We've been looking at our subject, body and soul. Yes, sir. And it's amazing, our pastor, Pastor Favor, was exhorting us on the same subject too. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. So we thank God for our life. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes. Praise God. Body and soul. Okay. Genesis chapter 2. Let's read verse 7. Can you read verse 7, please, to us? Yes, sir. Want to go? Read it again. And the Lord brought forth man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. You see that? It says, God formed the body of a man from the dust of the ground. Yes, sir. Interestingly, the ground being referred to here. Is not the one you and I are stepping on yes, today. Yes, sir. The Hebrew word for ground there means the ground under the ocean. Yes, under the yes sir. sir. Which means you were made from the finest sand. Yes, yes sir. sir. Finest ground. Yes, yes, sir. Water has been on it. So the way preachers preach it that you were just made from the dust of the ground. Like you were just picked from a refuse dump. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. The ground there Moses was referring to was actually the kind of ground they walked on when the Red Sea parted. The one under the water. Wow. And so you can see it's more or less the cleanest because water has been, been on it for only God knows how long. But here, 
we see that the blessed servant of the Lord Moses yes, is telling sir. us the making of a man. Yes, sir. He says, God, the Lord God Himself, yes, sir. Adonai, El, sorry, Yahweh Elohim, yes, sir. originally made man body and soul. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the body of a man pre existed the soul of a man. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, sir. Because in that verse 7, he says, It is the breath of God yes, sir. that went through the nostrils of a man yes, sir. Yes, sir. and became a living soul. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, God never made man his spirit. Say it. God never made man a spirit. Say it again. God never made man a spirit. So even when preachers today talk about man being a spirit that lives in the body, it's still not true. It's not true. No man has ever been a spirit. Mm. Yes, sir. Wow. Even the blessed Jesus, the blessed Lord Jesus, who could have even referred to as a spirit? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, um, when he rose from the dead, they called him a spirit, a ghost. Ghost, ghost yes, means spirit. Yes, yes, sir. And he said, no, I'm not. Mm -hmm. He said, he is not. Mm -hmm. And if Jesus is not, why should you? That's mm -hmm. true. Jesus said, he is not. Yes, sir. I'm not talking about even the Jesus that was killed, the one who even rose from the dead, yes, sir. who has all authority. Yes, sir. Even with all the all authority that he had, yes, sir. that has been given to him, both in heaven and on earth, still acknowledge he is not a spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. What? You are not a spirit? Mm. He said, yes. He said, and to prove it to you, touch me. Then Jesus told us the nature of the spirit that day. He said, for a spirit, ghost, does not have flesh and bones yes, like I have. Yes, sir. Jesus said it. Yes, sir. So why do some preachers say man is a spirit, man is a spirit, man is a spirit? Actually, what is translated spirit actually is your soul. Yes. Yes. Even though yes, the Greek word may be pneuma, mm. which means breath. What does bread mean? It is the bread of God. Yes, the bread of God. Yes, uh -huh. That bread of God in you, what is it? Soul. Your soul. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But that's what preachers are trying to interpret as spirit. Yes, sir. But you are not. Because even the venerable Jesus said he's not. Because he already told us what the nature of his spirit is. Does not have body, this flesh, and then bones. Wow. Okay. So Jesus is not a spirit. Say it. Jesus is not a spirit. So the question is, how was he able to go through the world if he's not a spirit? Yes, sir. Well, let's go to Acts chapter 1. Then you understand that. Acts chapter 1 then you will be able to know how Jesus was able to do it. Now, this is Luke writing to Theophilus in his second letter. The book of Luke was Luke's first letter to Theophilus. And Theophilus was a ruler, but he was a convert of, Theophilus, of Luke. Luke now is writing his second letter to him. He said, the former treaties have I made O Theophilus, now follow this carefully, of all that Jesus began both to do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. And to teach. He did. Yes. And taught. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. <laughs> so, Jesus did things, like going through the wall. It was something he did. 
Yes, sir. Please answer us. Yes, sir. And then he taught, right? Yes, sir. But now, see what Luke had to tell us. Until the day in which he was taken off, after that he, through the Holy Ghost, gave commands unto the apostles whom he had chosen. Here, here Luke is telling us, for Jesus to be able to do and to teach, it was by the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. So, him coming through the war was through the agency of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Jesus did not do it by himself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what Luke is telling us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And if this is not credible, God will not allow it to be written. But what, are, what do many Christians know today about the Holy Spirit speaking in tongues? Yes, sir. True, sir. True. But the ability to even go through the wall was by the Holy Spirit. By the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. By the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. And, and Jesus did not even need to die to be able to do that. Because he didn't receive the Holy Spirit in his death. Mm -hmm. He had the Holy Spirit while he was alive. Yes, yes sir. sir. Someone said, you know, brother, see, you know it was because of Jesus. Then how about Philip? Mm -hmm. Philip, who was not even an apostle. In Acts chapter 8. Mm -hmm. The Bible says he disappeared by the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. The Holy Spirit. Go there. Acts chapter 8. So that, that way, you, you understand here, your body and soul is enough for God to use. Yes, yes sir. sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Well, maybe you don't believe it. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir. Acts chapter. Start from verses 26. Let's just read verse 26 first so that you can see something. One to go. And the angel of the Lord spent unto him, saying, Arise and go towards the south, unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem, unto Gaza, which is the Now go to verses 29. One to go. Then the Spirit said unto him, Go here and go thyself to the so, so the angel of the Lord is the spirit yes. that told Philip yes, sir. to go and join himself with the child mm. of the eunuch. Yes, sir. Yes. And of course, Philip ministered to the eunuch. Okay. Now, let's read from verses 37 to verses 40. Can you read? One to go. And Philip said, If thou believest with all thy heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still, and they went down both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. And when they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord called away to Philip. And I came up out of the water. The Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord did it. The Spirit of the Lord raptured Philip to another city. This is our rapture. He raptured him from the waters. He didn't even wait for his clothes to dry. He just caught him. And Philip was not dead. He was still alive. He was not even an apostle. Mm -hmm. He was just a deacon. But he was not an ordinary deacon. Because by choice, yes, sir. he yes. chose to improve himself. Yes. Remember the criteria for choosing these deacons, to which Philip was one of them. Go to Acts chapter 6. Let, let's read it. Because there is actually nothing you cannot do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You don't have to be a spirit. 
Acts chapter 6. Well, I guess you're offended, but no, no, when the people were complaining about much service and all that, the apostle said, well, we cannot uh, uh, forsake the preaching of the word and start saving tables in Acts chapter 6, verses 2. But read verses 3. You hear what the requirements were for choosing these gracious deacons. Read. One, two, go. Verse 3. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom. You see that? Yes. Full of the Holy Spirit. You just need to be full of the Spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And being full of the Spirit is not your spirit. Yes, sir. The Holy Spirit is not your spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if man's spirit, like the way preachers preach it, is everything, why do you need to be filled with That's the Holy true. Spirit? Yeah. These men were full of the Spirit of God because they were just body and soul. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what does the Holy Spirit look out for? Look yes, out for yes, sir. before he uses a man. Yes, sir. Prayer and fasting? No. Notice what he said. Honest report. Yes, be an honest person. Yes, sir. It's not hard. Even the Holy Spirit is looking for honest men. It's true. Yes, sir. True. Honest men. Yes, sir. There are some preachers who cannot tell you the truth. You see why their gospel is not real? So, so why, why is God still using you? Because I'm honest. Honestly, I don't hide anything. I'll just tell you, I did this thing. I didn't. You understand? But people say, oh, no, 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 no. You will lose your calling. I can't lose my calling. Because what the Holy Spirit needs is honesty. He's yes, looking for honest men and women. Yes, sir. And notice, this was a church of 8,000. But the congregation of 8,000 acknowledged only seven men amongst 8,000 are honest. Only seven, seven men amongst all of us. Wow. Yes, we are all hypocrites here. Yeah. No. Apart from seven men. We know this one is honest. Yes, sir. In a congregation of 8,000. Only seven. Do you think it's better these days? No, it's even worse now. <laughs> but God was not even... The, the apostles, they knew that because they have followed Jesus and they have come to see, even in the life of Jesus, that all God really wants are honest men. Yes, sir. But some people don't want that. I want a man who can, very, who can pray very, very well. Can't you see he prays, you are still frustrated. No, honesty. If you ask many ladies today, what kind of man do you want? They will mention beautiful qualities, but they will never say this. This does not cross their mind. Yet they expect the man to be true and honest to them. I want a man who is God-fearing. That was Cornelius, but Cornelius was not even saved. And the angel never took Cornelius, he's an honest person. He said, you fear God, you give arms to the poor. You are God-fearing, period. But he never acknowledge he is an honest person. Because you can be God-fearing and never honest. And honest people is what people really, really find. You know, when our papa had the challenge that he went through then, and people were just saying, oh, man, out of nonsense, even some preachers. I, I, I laughed at the fact that here is a man of God who graciously, he didn't owe anybody. He didn't owe us anything. It's not our business. Is it your business? You mind your own. Your own life, is it better? You're trying to look at somebody. Else. But the man of God graciously told you this is it. And you see, we are not surprised how the grace multiplied. Why? Because all the apostles said, of being a great leader with God is honest. Yes, sir. Even people who are not honest know this one <laughs> is honest. He will tell you <laughs> if he did it. Now, notice, it is a look for men of integrity. Honesty is not integrity. Because with integrity, there are a lot of cover -ups. You cover, you package, cover, 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 cover. But honest.
He said, look for men of honest report. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tell me if you cheated on me, I won't tell you if I cheated on you. Why? Because if I tell you, things will not get better. Even right now that I've not told you, things are still not even better. Why can't you just tell me whether you cheated on me? I can't tell you. And he's honest to tell you that. You are not honest with me. He's very honest. He just told you he cannot tell you whether or not he did. That means you did it. I didn't say I did. I just said I cannot tell you. Why can't you tell me if you didn't do it? Because you will never even believe me whether I did it or not. <laughs> You've always had an impression about me. Do you understand? So again, you see, this makes your life easy with God. Yes, sir. So the issue of trying to impress people, wanting to look, I'm not in that business anymore. Look, me. do you understand? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's what he's saying. Yes, sir. When you are an honest man, you'll be full of the spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But it's a virtue today that is lacking in the church. Children growing up, many children today in many families were never raised, to be honest. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Always tell the truth. Telling the truth is not honesty. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. You need to understand. Telling the truth is not honesty. Sometimes not even telling the truth is honest. Exactly. Like the, late, like the example we just gave. Tell me whether you did it. I won't tell you. It's an honest answer because the man knows you. He knows that if he tells you, you will not let him sleep. You will torment him with the truth about this matter for months. So he would rather not tell you. But I need to know. He just told you what you needed to know. That he will not tell you the truth. Okay, fine. Then until you tell me the truth, it's over. Praise God. You don't care about me. Well, you said so. But because I do, that's why I said I won't tell you. See, because sometimes we try to look for opportunities to rope people. Because even the person telling me, saying, tell me the truth, tell me the truth. The person himself, how truthful is the person? Why do you want me to tell you the truth? What was your intention with this truth that you want to know? <laughs> Oh, man. Praise God. Hallelujah. No, he said, look for seven men of honest report. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Full of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. And wisdom. Wisdom. A lady came to meet us for prayers. I was telling us about her husband, how terrible he was and all that. And I was really going for it. Then the Lord said, don't mind now, she's lying. Mm. She's not honest. Mm. So I said, Madam, you are not honest with what you are telling me. <laughs> she said, no, I'm telling you the truth. Then the Lord said, that part of the story she said, so, 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 tell her it's not true. That's not actually how it happened. Then the Lord told me, so I told her. She said, yeah, actually, yeah, it was just, it skipped me. I said, it didn't skip hey! It didn't skip me. Oh, you were just not honest. Yeah. Because if I had prayed against yeah. your husband now, that, that, that would that wouldn't be nice. You are not just being you are just trying to be manipulative. Do you know how many manipulative Christians we have? We have them. And they are not ashamed. Uh, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> they are just not ashamed. And their lives are not better. He said, look for men of honest report, yes, full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom. Yes, sir. You yes, see sir. that? You are wise. Yes, yes, sir. And with yes, wisdom, sir. you know it is not everything you share with people. Exactly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Men who can manage. Yes. He said, because those are the kind of people we can put in charge of church business. Yes, people who are wise. Yes, we don't need fools. We don't need available fools. Someone said, I'm available, send me. But you know you are a fool. Oh. Yes, the last time they fired you, fired you from work. So I said, but I'm here. I want God to use me. God said, I'm not interested. Your boss couldn't even manage you. You want to come near me. There's some people like that. There are some people like that. And it shouldn't be. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, so here, the, 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 they, they, they chose, um, in fact, let, let, let's show you something. Read verses 5. Read verses 5, so that you can know Philip was one of them. Yes, one, two, go. Verses and 5. And the same pleased the whole multitude, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith, and of the Holy Spirit, and the Philip, and the and the Lord, 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 and the Lord. You see that? Read. Who they sent before the apostles, and when they had prayed, they laid their hands on them, and the word of God increased. Okay. All right. And yeah, the number of the disciples were multiplied, right? Now read verses eight, please. One to go. And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles okay. so, among the people. So Philip was full of faith. Yes, sir. What's faith? Pistis, persuasion, right? So Philip was full of persuasion. Yes. Now, question: What triggered the persuasion? The Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you see, when you are full of the Holy Spirit, your persuasions increase. Yes, he was yes, full of his persuasion because he was full of the Spirit. Yes, sir. And he was able to do great wonders. Yes, but Philip did phenomenal things. To the point that he was able to disappear. So you don't need to be a spirit. That's just what we're trying to show you. Yes, sir. To be able to to go through the world. Mm. Um, I mean, if you disappear from one place and appear in another place, do you know how many wars you went through? Mm. Yeah, true. But Philip did not even need to die to do it. Mm. Ah, that's true. Jesus also disappeared in his day before he died. He did that many times. In Luke chapter yes, 4 and some other places, he did. Yes, but, but... And then there were occasions where Jesus would change his form, change his looks. Sometimes he would disguise himself. But here, what we're trying to tell you is that God knows why he made you a body and soul. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Say it. Say God knows. God knows why he made you a body and soul. And that's enough for him. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because he believes. Yes, sir. That you can be full of his spirit. Yes, yes sir. Not your spirit. Yes, sir. Because you are not a spirit. Yes, sir. You are a body and soul. Yes, sir. But you can be full of God's spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In fact, go to Ephesians chapter 3 so that you can understand that you are not a spirit. Yes, sir. As they suggest. But you can be full of the Spirit of God. Yes, Ephesians chapter 3. Mm. Let's read from verse 16. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 16. That He will grant you, according to the riches of His glory, to be strengthened with might by His Spirit. God's Spirit. Where? In your inner man. What is your inner man? Your soul. God's Spirit in your inner man. So you are not a spirit. You are a soul who needs God's spirit. Yes! And what will God's spirit do to your soul? He will strengthen it. Yes, strengthen it. Yes. So, which means there are Christians today with weak souls. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Right. Their soul is so weak. Some have timid souls. Some have troubled souls. Some have entrapped souls. Some have Ignorant, darkened souls. Some have souls that are vexed. Nothing ever makes them happy because their soul is already vexed. Everything gets them angry. It is not their body. They can be very beautiful and attractive. Yet always very touchy about things. Angry. That means something is wrong with your soul. But here, he is praying for a church in Ephesus. Yes, sir. And his prayer is that the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. will strengthen their soul. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Their yes, inner man. Yes, sir. Now, yes, sir. isn't it amazing that um, the criteria for choosing the seven deacons, one of the criteria was that they had to be full of the Spirit. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
These men will be full of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Why a whole church will desire the Spirit to strengthen them? Mm -hmm. Not even feed them up. Strengthen them first. Yes, sir. Some men are swimming in the fullness of the Spirit of God. Yes, sir. Why others need the Spirit to be strengthening them? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can't do this alone. I just need God to strengthen me throughout this journey. Yeah, it's that time. Some are full of the Spirit yes, of God. Sir. And that is why we told you that between your soul and your body, mm. the one, the Holy Spirit, mm. impacts the most is your soul because yes, your soul is an element of the Spirit of God. Yes, sir. It is the breath of God in the human yes, sir. body. Yes, sir. So the Holy Spirit relates with your soul more than yes. your body. Yes, sir. It is the influence of the Holy Spirit on your soul that can impact your body. Yes, sir. So it is what the soul chooses to release yes, that impacts your physical body. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that's why we, we started a discourse recently on the impact, influence of the Holy Spirit yes, sir. on your memory. Because yes, memory is an aspect yes, sir. of your soul, not yes, your brain. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. Yes, sir. We showed you that with the story of Lazarus and the rich man. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. That they were both dead, but then Abraham, Father Abraham was saying to the rich man, remember. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So his, his soul had memory. Yes, sir. But his brain has dried up in the grave. Yes, now, that, that he will strengthen you with might by his spirit in your inner man. That Christ now, Christ. Yes. Here, when he was talking about Christ here, he's not talking about Jesus. That yes. Christ may dwell in your heart by faith. Yes, now, <clears throat> when he says Christ here, yes, the reference was not to Jesus. The reference here, Christ, is actually the same reference used in Acts chapter 8 verses 5 and verses 12. Acts chapter 8 verses 5 and verses 12 where the Bible says Philip, the same Philip went down to Samaria and preached Christ. Yes, sir. He preached Christ. Yes, sir. The Bible didn't say he preached the Christ. Yes, sir. That would be in reference to Jesus now. Yes, sir. But the Bible says he went and preach Christ. Yes, sir. Then verses 12 of Acts chapter 8 says, verses 12 of Acts chapter 8 says, he preached the things that pertain to the kingdom of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Preaching things pertaining to the kingdom yes, sir. of heaven, mm -hmm. which was wrongly translated as God. Mm -hmm. In Acts chapter 8 verses 12 is what he calls Christ here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So when Jesus would say, the kingdom of heaven is like unto this, a man who did this, a man who did that. That's Jesus actually preaching Christ. Yes, sir. He's preaching things pertaining to the kingdom of heaven, yes. which Philip also did too. And the Bible says when he did, there were miracles. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But you think preaching Jesus is what makes miracles happen. Yes. Preaching Jesus does not make miracles happen. Yes, but preaching Christ, things yes, pertaining to the kingdom of heaven. And that was what Jesus did the most. The kingdom of heaven is like unto this. The kingdom of heaven is like unto this. The kingdom of heaven. And the more he did, the more the miracles. Yes, but you think preaching Jesus is what brings miracles. No. Preaching Jesus can only give you salvation. Mm -hmm. Someone say, that's the greatest miracle. Okay. I agree, really. I really agree. But there's a reason why I said okay. But someday we'll discuss that. Not today. That Christ. What is Christ now? The things pertaining to the kingdom of heaven, which is knowledge. Yes. Knowledge. Yes. Revelation and knowledge. That Christ, that the things pertaining to the kingdom of heaven may dwell in your hearts by your persuasions. Yes. Yes, that means if you are not persuaded, you can, you can, it can bounce off from you. You can chase it away. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. That you now, when the things pertaining to the kingdom of heaven dwells in you, you will become what? Rooted and grounded in love. Then you will be able to what? Comprehend with other saints. 
what is the length and breadth and depth and height. And then you will know the love of the things that pertains to the kingdom of heaven. The love of Christ. The love of Christ. Which surpasses knowledge. Knowledge. Yes, sir. Ginosko, which means scientific knowledge. Yes, sir. Which surpasses scientific knowledge. That ye might be filled, notice, with all the fullness of God. And God is a spirit. Yes, sir. You see that? Yes, sir. So, there are steps one takes in his Christian journey yes, to being filled with the Spirit of God. Which means these seven deacons had already met those requirements yes, and were already full of the Spirit. Yes, sir. But the deception here or the misleading aspect in the way being filled with the Holy Spirit is being communicated today by many preachers is that you give your heart to Christ right now and you receive the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. No. Paul says no. To be full of the Spirit, first of all, it will require you to receive the right knowledge that will strengthen your soul. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because the weight of the fullness of God is so heavy mm. that you will need to be strengthened yes, sir. Yes, sir. to be able to accommodate yes, Him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Such that God Himself can use your hands, your eyes, yes, your ears, yes, your legs, yes, sir. your mouth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your nostrils yes, to find expression. Yes, Just like demons can express themselves in their victims yes, that they sure. possess yes, and begin to talk to the person. Yes, God wants also, Paul desired it for the church in Ephesus, that God also wants to behave. Yes, God wants to possess you like the way a demon possesses yes, you. But where does God? What will God possess? My, my your soul, soul or your body? My soul. No, he will possess your body. Once your soul is entered, oh, once your soul is strengthened, yes, then he will now enter. Yes, having captured the faculties of your soul. Yes, and then he will begin to express himself Amen. through you. That is why somebody can look at you and believe they are seeing God. Because it was a prayer he prayed for the saints, not yes, for sir. Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's true. Jesus has long gone. Mm. He says you can be full yes, of yes, God. Yes, sir. That's madness. Yes, sir. But it is true. Yes, sir. He says you can be full of God. Yes, sir. So there's a way you can say good morning. And it was God who said good morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He says you can be full. Yes, sir. You will not lose yourself. Yes, sir. You are still yourself. Yes, sir. But this time around you are bolder. Yes, sir. You are stronger. Yes, sir. Nothing that used to move you in the past moves you now. Yes, sir. Now there's a confidence for life. Yes, sir. You just know this world is up for grabs. Yes, sir. And it belongs to us. That's how I came into America nine years ago. Even though I slept at the airport for two days and I did not know anybody when I first came to America, nobody came to pick me up. I was full of God. Yes, and I'm still full of God. And that is why nothing frightens me, really. Because God cannot be frightened. People have, people have threatened me, said many things. And I just laugh. Because you don't know what follows me. Yes, and honestly, I'm mightily possessed. Yes, <laughs> ah, the, first time I I the first time I preached that same yes, nine years ago, if I can, I can remember, the possessed, the possessed Christian. People left church. And they said they believe I'm possessed. And I am. I am. I mean, even when you see us pray for people during deliverance. Yes, sir. Can a normal person do that? There's something in me that is doing it. So I know. Because Paul, who can imagine Paul is praying for this church? I know you are not a spirit. 
I know you are still a body and soul. I want the Holy Spirit to strengthen your soul. Then he will fill you up. Then you can be filled with the fullness. The fullness, not some. The fullness. You see, when a ship is loading to go for a long trip, when a cargo ship, they measure the weight. And in measuring the weight, they also measure the number of crew on board, the weight of everyone, yes, whether you are 200 pounds, 180 pounds, and 19 people on board the crew with all the cargo. They measure it. Yes, sir. And anything minus it can affect that ship. Yes, what people don't know is that they, they believe that they can just jump into a ship and start sailing. Yes, no, they measure the weight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I say, but that's not my business. It's not your business. You just entered the ship. <laughs> the one, the captain knows. Yeah, yeah. And one more human being entering it can cause chaos. Yeah. So they can tell the person, you can't, you, you, you can't really enter. Because this is, they call it maximum load. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually what they call it. Maximum load. Yeah. Interestingly, that was the same picture Paul was using here. Yeah. That you will be filled with the maximum load of God. <laughs> wow. All because of your soul. Like we say, you will still not lose yourself. Exactly. Look at verses 20. He says, now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly. That means God is able to exceed abundance. Yes. Above all that you ask. You see, you still have not lost yourself. You are full of God, you still have yourself. Yes, sir. You can still talk, play, but God's fullness is still in you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And God's fullness is not altering your daily life. Yes, sir. Except you allow it. Because you have the strength to contain God. Yes, he says your soul can. Your soul can. Yes, sir. It has been strengthened with the right knowledge. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To be able to carry the full maximum load of yes, God. Yes, sir. What? Yes, sir. Wow. That means you are God's ship. Yes, sir. And oh. God is on board. Yes, sir. <laughs> With the chef, with the captain, with everything. There is a compass. There is a destination. Do you understand? So you are fully loaded with all that you need. But you didn't know. That's what we're telling you. You can be full of God. Now, if God is, is, is omnipresent, omniscience, Omnipotent. He is, right? Yes, yes sir. Oh, you disagree? No. Yes, sir. Please answer now. Yes, if God is omniscience, omnipotent, and omniscience. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. If God is all that, yes, sir. and he's in you, ha. what does that make you? That makes you, ah. yes, that makes you omnipotent. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because all the potency of God, yes, your inner man can accommodate you. Yes, God is really crazy. Yes, sir. God says, I want to be crazy with you. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? You pray for someone. One spirit is speaking. I'm my husband. Spirit husband. I'm my wife. No. We, God is everything in us. He says you can be full. Someone said, well, let's go, let's go for surgery. Let the doctor open you up. Let, let's find out whether you are full of God. You see, the reason why you cannot see it is because God is relating with our soul. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But possessing our body. Yes, sir. Because our soul is inside his body. Yes, sir. Therefore, God is inside his body. Yes, sir. Relating with our soul. Yes, sir. So the question is, doctor, before you open me up, let me ask you a question. Has any doctor ever seen a man's soul? Yes, if you have yes, never seen a man's soul, you can't see God yes, in me. Yes, but he's there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
So uh, I'm correct to say I'm, in, I'm omnipotent. Yes. yes. Well, maybe you are not. I'm omnipotent. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at Acts chapter 6 again. Yes, sir. So that you can see something. Look at verses 8. Read verses 8. This is a dicky you now. Read. One to go. I see them full of faith and power. You see that? He wa- you, are, you are reading it as though you are frustrated. No. Notice. He says Stevie was full of, of, of persuasion. Yes, what was he persuaded about? That God was living in him. Yes. Oh. Yes. Wow. Wow. That he carried the fullness wow. of God. Wow. And because of that, he was full of God's power. Yes. Oh. So which means at this point, even Stephen became omnipotent. Yes. Oh, wow. yes. oh. How can you be full of the spirit and think that you are not omnipotent? Here, being full of the spirit has nothing to do with speaking in tongues. Here. Yes, sir. You are looking at a demonstration of power. Oh, yes, sir. This man can display power. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Brother, if God did it with them, and the only requirement now mm. is honest. Yes, can you be an honest person? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You see now, you, you know why you sat down? Because you know it's something you need to work on. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, I can Some people are not honest at all. It's true. Why do you just open up like that? Because I need more God's fullness. Oh, yes, but you don't know. More of God's fullness. He's not praying and fasting. Yes, sir. Now, notice, he was full of power. Jesus said, you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Spirit is come upon you. So who brought this power? The Holy Spirit. And who is the Holy Spirit? God himself. And he's the fullness of God. So Philip was full of God. So here, when he says he was full of power, you are looking at, he was full of the omnipotent power of God. Yes, sir. There was one time in history, in Christian history, one man was full of that power. Yes, I'm next. Uh, I'm next. Yes, sir. Yet he did not pastor a church. Wow. He was serving exactly. pastors of a church. Yes, sir. Wow. So this thing is not strictly exclusive to just ministers. Exactly. Wow. He was full of power. He was full of, I think the best word is omnipotent power. Omnipotent power. Such that that power now. Even though the Greek interprets that dunamis, but we know yeah. it's the omnipotence of God. Yeah. He was full of the omnipotent power of God, and it what? He did. He did. Yes, Not God. Yes, he did. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stephen did. Yes, sir. Someone say, God did it. No, 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 no. Yes, the Bible says he did. Yes, sir. Because of what he was full of. Yes, and God did not say, what are you doing? No, no, no. Nobody takes my glory. God couldn't have said that. No. Because God would be crazy. God, you are full. He is full of you. The Bible says Philip did. He did great wonders and miracles amongst the people. He was displayed. This was a guy who was called to come and serve food. Would you like to have some pastors this morning? Is it pastor you like to? Is he Alfredo? Let's serve you. Ah, I, 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 they, they said, I have stage four cancer. Don't worry. Sorry. Why are you eating? Exactly. You will just touch them. Yes. How? Yes. Cancer will jump back. Yes. <laughs> this yes. man, the apostle said, we'll give ourselves to pray and the work. Yes, the apostle said, we have retired from working miracles. Let oh. them still handle this. That's what the apostle said. We'll give ourselves to pray and the word. Let the steam, let the deacons be handling the miraculous. They are full of. They are full of. <laughs> ah, yes, no! But how come this was never told us? It's true, sir. Ah. Well, now we know. Yes, sir. 
It's time to be full of God. So when somebody says, hey, Brother, see, you are a spirit. You are not wrong. Because the spirit of God is in me. I'm full of him. I'm full of his omnipotence. I'm full of his omniscience. Yeah. Yes, sir. And I'm full of his presence. Someone say, the presence of God is everywhere. The man, I am the manifested presence. You know, Angel Gabriel told Zachariah, I am Gabriel, who stands in the presence of God. Well, thank God for you, Angel Gabriel. For me, I am the presence of God. Because I carry the fullness of God. You see why angels will always gravitate towards me? Because angels gravitate towards where the power of God and the presence of God is. Because where the power of God is, the presence of God is there. He says, then you will be able to ask or think anything. And God will exceed it for you. Oh, oh, oh. Listen, you have no reason to fail. You have no reason to fail. Can't you see even failure is a laughter? You have no reason to fail. You have no reason. Yes, sir. And, and listen, you need to you need to shut up and stop explaining your your failures to people. Mm -hmm. The reason why you fail is because if I had this, you know, I had no mother in my life. I, I didn't have a mother in my life. Too. But I'm a success for a while. So you see, you have no excuse. Yes, so say, my father left my mother. My father left all of us. He was trying to even find his own feet. But I'm still a success. So, you are, you are without excuse. He says what you need is the fullness of God. I, I come from a polygamous family. Well, I didn't. But, it doesn't matter. There are people who came from polygamous and who are successful. So, you see, you are without excuse. He says, you can be full of God. Ah, now, yes, we all say God lives in heaven, right? Yes, sir. Please answer yes, now. Yes, sir. So, if you are full of God, wherever you are is heaven. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. You need to be honest with that reality. Yes, sir. You need to be honest with that reality. That God is threatening me to be full of God. Yes, sir. God. And sooner than you think, the world will hear of me yes! for good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They will see raw divine power yes, in full demonstration yes, sir. Yes, sir. to the glory of God. Let's show you another person who was full of it. Okay. If you go to Acts chapter if you go to this same Stephen, go to Acts chapter 7. Please, let, let's read verses 54 and 55. Verse 54 and 55. Acts chapter 7. Now, can you read, please? When they heard these things, they were cut to the heart, and they gnashed on him with their teeth. But he, being full of the Holy Ghost, you see that? He was full. So, Stephen was full of power. He was full of the Holy Spirit. So, now we know why he was full of power. Because he was full of the Holy Spirit. And what is the fullness of the Holy Spirit? The fullness of God. Because Jesus said, you shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you. So, here, with this... From where he was standing, he could look into that distant heaven. Yes, sir. He could look into heaven yes, sir. and see clearly yes, sir. who is standing. Yes, sir. He could see into heaven, yes, sir. straight to the very throne of God. Yes, sir. What a sight. Notice, exactly. it takes the fullness of the spirit yes, sir. of God. He didn't need to be a spirit. He was still body and soul, full of the spirit of God. Yet could see 
he could see into heaven. <laughs> so men have lived brother. It's my time is my turn. Yes, sir. It's my time is my turn. It's my time is my turn. Yes, Telling you, man. Yes, sir. It's my time. It's my time. It's my turn. Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. And no angel spoke about his birth. It's true. And in fact, this same Stephen, the Bible says, those that looked at him saw his face change. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Spiritual plastic surgery. Yes, sir. His face changed. Yes, because of what he's, he was full of. Yes, listen. Listen. Every demon casted out from a man is a proof yes. that spirits can possess a man. Yes. And God is a spirit. Yes. So God can possess a man. I mean, why will you always be available for demons to possess you? When there is a mighty God. Who is... Somebody says, but why has God not possessed me yet? Because your soul is weak. You see why you need knowledge? Oh, yes, for your soul to be strengthened. Yes, before you are full yes, sir. of God. Yes, sir. He says you can be full yes, of God. Yes, sir. <laughs> so men really have lived. Yes, it's my time, it's my time. Let, let's show you something. Go to Acts chapter 9. See, Saul was on his way to Damascus. And of course, he had an encounter with Jesus. Yes, and then he... He, he became blind and then Jesus appeared in a vision to Ananias, yes, one of the disciples, to go and minister to him. Now, I would like you to read verses 17. You, you see something now. Yes, sir. Um, verse 17. Can you read, please? One to go. And Ananias went his way and entered into the house and putting his hand on him said, Brother Saul, the Lord is in Jesus. <laughs> So he was full of the Holy Spirit, right? Yes. Say it. He was full of the Holy Spirit. Now go to Acts chapter 19, verses 11. Let's see what happened yes, to such a man. Yes, sir. Oh, body and soul. Body and soul. With the fullness of the with Holy the Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. You see that? It is body and soul yes, with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. So it's a lie when they tell you man is a spirit that lives in a body. Man is not a spirit that lives in a body. Man is a soul that lives in a body. But that soul can be full of the spirit of God. Because like we said, if you were already a spirit, then you don't need the Holy Spirit. Because your soul is already the breath of God. So your soul is already a material from the Holy Spirit. But that soul needs knowledge to be able to accommodate yes, sir. the Holy Spirit. Now, read verses 11 into verses 12. One to go, please. And God brought special miracles by the hands of Paul. God did what? Special miracles God. By the hands of Paul. God. God. God used his hands. But notice, notice, Paul was already filled with the Spirit of God. So the Spirit of God went as far as now using his hand. You see why people thought that it was Paul doing it. And Paul and God was not ashamed to give him the credit. Okay, so let's read it again, verses 11. And God demonstrated. The word rot means demonstrate. So read it in your daily language, demonstrate instead of rot. One to go. And God demonstrated the special miracles by the hands of God. Without the name of Jesus. Just he carried handkerchief and just rubbed his body. Oh, 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 oh. What was he expecting to happen? He said, because this thing has touched my body. Anyone you touch with it. <laughs> The devil's troubling them will yeah. vacate yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. How can that kind of person be sick? Yeah. When what is coming out from his body yeah. can 
and drive demons from other people. <laughs> and these things are not fairy tale. The same Paul told us. The things in the Bible have been written for our learning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why do you learn? So that you can do. Right? Yes, sir. Why are you learning to be a medical doctor? So that you so that you can you can practice it. So why do you think we're learning these things? And that's the truth. Yes, sir. Yes. Except you don't believe it. I believe it. You see why the same Paul in Romans chapter 8 said, Let every man be fully persuaded yes. in himself. Yes, sir. I cannot be persuaded for you. Yes, sir. You know, there's a way, you know, like one foolish, one foolish pastor yes, sir. who came and said, um, he heard us teach many years ago on the four winds. Oh, my God. The four winds. And so he came and challenged me. Then I was, we were living in Brooklyn. So he said uh, that, that I'm giving people false hope, that what I'm saying is not true. So I said, come. So we went outside. I said, you see that tree? I pointed to one tree. He said, yes. Then I was living in Brooklyn on New, New Lots Avenue. Pastor Christian has visited us there. When you come out, when you come out on Bradford in New Lot, because I moved from Liberty Avenue in Brooklyn to Bradford on New Lot. When you come out, like you are going to Sea Town, I was seeing him off towards those linden high rises. So we saw one tree. I say, see that tree. I say, I say stay here. I say, I say, look at that tree with your eyes and bend it. He said, I will not test God. Yes. I said, I will test him. Yes. <laughs> Did God not say, prove me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I told him that. He said, no, that's with, that's with tight. I said, no, that tight was for a cost people. Mm -hmm. I don't need to pay tight for, to prove God. Notice what he said in Malachi 3, verse 8. He told them they were cost. Yes, sir. And he told them to pay tight so that they can prove him to bless yes, sir. them. Yes, sir. <clears throat> I don't need to prove anything. I don't need God to prove himself to me. God has been good to me. Yes, sir. But I told him, I said, I want to test him. Mm -hmm. I said, use your eyes to bend that tree. Mm -hmm. And he, he, was, he said he could not do it. Mm -hmm. that, he will, that he will be seen as tempting the Lord. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, watch me. I said, just keep looking. I said, look at me. He looked at me. I said, look at the tree now. I was looking at the tree. He was telling me, nothing has happened there. I said, don't worry, just keep looking. It took about 15 minutes, actually. Then he began to see the tree bend. Mm -hmm. And the thing was now yanking. Mm -hmm. And people started moving away. And I was, far, I was looking at the tree. He looked at me. I was looking, and the tree was yanking, yanking, yanking. Then he pushed me. He said I was possessed. Uh -huh. I said, if I'm possessed, mm -hmm. then it means that what I'm possessed with is greater than your God. Mm -hmm. Your God, you couldn't trust him enough to bend the tree with your eyes. But how were we able to do that? The fullness of God. Was it not God who made the trees? He commanded the trees to bend. I did not say in Jesus' name, I was just looking at the tree. Then as we were walking, I said, stop. I said, you see this truck? A thin wheeler truck was coming. I said, I can stop it. He said, I, sh I, should, I, I should try it. I stopped it. The driver came out and was thinking it was a mechanical fault. He didn't know I was the one who stopped it. Oh, he opened the, the bonnet. Mm. The thing just suddenly stopped. I was looking at it. Mm. And the thing stopped. It halted. And the guy thought the thing had a mechanical fault. He was trying to look, open the bonnet. We were just there. And my friend was looking at me. He said, man, he said, where did you get these powers from? Uh, I said, from the word. Exactly. The same Bible you preach that I preach for. I said, but you are a fool. Because you preach what you don't believe. Yes. Do you know how many preachers who preach what they don't believe? I will never preach anything I don't believe. <laughs> many preachers preach what they don't believe. And when they see some of us do some th strange things, they say, oh, it's voodoo. So voodoo is stronger than God that we preach. Notice, Paul took handkerchief from his body. 
The first cancer case we addressed was from Evangelist Benedict's person. Mm. One nine. Was it like yeah, little we went to, um, how old was program. that? Yeah, how old was that? Yeah. Oh, okay, this, okay, ten years. Ten years. Yeah. Okay, no, the first one was uh, yeah, that woman Poconos. Poconos. Yeah. Yes, who was given three months to yeah. die and still live for many years. Wow. Then the second one was a nine-year-old lady, and we said let's pray over handkerchief on the phone with Evangelist Benedict. So give them the handkerchief. Do you understand? So if this thing does not work, then why preach it? That's true. Why preach it? If this thing does not work. But we're telling you this thing yes, works. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. I would like to show you something. Yes, sir. Go to. Go to. <coughs> go to. Efficiency. I want to show you something. Ephesians chapter chapter four. I would like you to see something that Paul was addressing here. He says here, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called. You see that? He's telling you, walk worthy of what God, he calls it a vocation. Yes, sir. Now, what is a vocation? Something you do. He says, walk worthy of it. Yes, sir. Walk worthy of what you have been called into. Yes, sir. And we all have been called into the supernatural. Yes, yes sir. Sir. Now he's telling you, walk worthy of it. Yes, yes sir. So what, what would that mean? To be able to demonstrate. Yes, sir. Which means if you don't, you are not walking worthy yes, of that vocation. Yes, then what's the point being in it? What's the point being in it? If there are sick people around you and you can't pray for them to be well, then what's the point? Are you still walking worthy of the vocation? You say God has given you super intelligence, yet you failed an exam. Are you still walking worthy of the vocation? He says, I beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherein you have been called, with all humility and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. In fact, one time, I think Pastor Christian here, there was one time, Pastor Christian has had some experiences with us. There was one time, I told Pastor Christian, I'm, I'm going to pray now that a clock, the yes. time, yes. the time will freeze. Yes. And he, yes. there was a clock. It does not belong to yes. us. And the clock was working fine. And I said, I'll pray now that clock will stop. And I just prayed. And the clock stopped. And he was looking at it. I said, I'll pray now to start working. And I prayed. And he started working. He says, walk worthy of the vocation. Yes, 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 what was I trying to prove to Pastor Christian? That prayer works. That was yes, just what I, Because it is wanting to teach it, teach it, teach it. When you pray in the name of Jesus, you teach it, teach it. No, sometimes you need to demonstrate it. Yes, so we prayed and stopped it. Then prayed again for it to work. To let him know that prayer works. And to also let him know that God hears me when I pray. Yes, yes, if there's one thing Jesus always did in his prayer... It was always to acknowledge with all confidence that God always heard him when he prayed. When he got to the grave of Lazarus, he said, Father, I thank you because I know you hear me all the time. All the time. Man, the guy was braggadocious, but he was correct. He said, Father, I thank you because you hear me all the time. Man, which woman would not like to be with a man like that? Who can talk to the Lord that God can hear all the time? Yes, sir. Which man would not like to be with a woman who can talk to the Lord and God will hear her all the time? What is up to you? He said, walk worthy of the vocation yes, sir. you have been called into. Yes, sir. He calls it a vocation. He didn't call it an entertainment. He says, with all lowliness, Humility and meekness, gentleness, with long suffering, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Now look at the part we want you to see. Endeavoring. Yeah. You should make it your endeavor. Yes, sir. What does God want me to do? This is what He wants me to do. 
You know, there are Christians who are always forever asking. I want God to tell me what he wants me to do for him. This is what he wants you to do. One, he says, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. That pastor, that foolish pastor friend who came and was telling me what I was saying was not true when I taught on the four winds. You see, he, he was fighting the unity of yeah. the spirit. He was fighting my peace. So I said, let me demonstrate it to him. Oh. And I said, I'm not going to pray in the name of Jesus. I'm just only going to use my eyes to bend that tree. Mm. One time we were tra traveling to Atlanta, and we got to some, one of the mountains of Virginia. Yeah. But I think Brother Kina was with us, Pastor Christian and Brother Uchi. They were with us in the car. And I said, wait, 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 wait. I said, now nah, we're about to go through the stomach of an angel. Yeah. And the angel was standing on the road. Yeah. Smooth road. But by the time we went through, they had a strong turbulence. Yes, sir. I said, do you know what happened? It's just to let you know what I just told you. We're going through the stomach oh, of an angel. My God. There are mighty angels like that. Yes, yes sir. It's true. You were there that day right, with us in the oh. car. And the smooth road. I said, now we're about to go through the stomach of an angel. Wow. Because I was seeing the angel. Yes, sir. Oh. This thing was. Yes, yes, sir. Wow. But you see, you can call it voodoo, whatever no, you want to call it. Isn't it amazing that the supernatural is voodoo to you? It's a shame, man. Now, see, see, see what he said. He said, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. He said, peace has a bond. He says, endeavor to keep it, otherwise it will crack like an egg. Endeavor to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Now, how do you do that? What is the bond of peace? The bond of peace, number one, it says one body. One body. Yes, sir. One spirit. Yes, sir. If there's one spirit, then he's talking about the spirit of the living God. Yes, sir. Even as he according to one hope of your calling. What is the hope? The resurrection from the dead. Yes, sir. If you read 1 Corinthians chapter 15. One Lord, one faith. One baptism, one God and Father of all. Who is what? Above all and through all and in ye, and in ye all. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Now, did you notice he didn't mention one soul? Notice. Because all that he mentioned has to do with the characteristics of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. What the Holy Spirit will fill you with. Yes, sir. He's talking about what God, what the fullness of God is in you. Yes, sir. Let's read it again. The fullness of God. He says one body, the mystical body of Christ. We're all part of it. One spirit. Even as he according to one hope. And the only hope is the resurrection, we told you. One Lord, one persuasion, one faith. Not different faiths. One baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all. Read the next line. And in you, oh. this same God, yes, sir. who is above everything, yes, sir. he says he will come and dwell in you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he's not talking to a whole church, he's talking to individuals because he said, you all. Yes, sir. That means he's talking to individuals. Yes, sir. But first of all, desire to be a man of peace. Yes. See, yes. see, we're telling you, the criteria God needs yes, you to meet, mm. for him to move through you, is not hard. He's not praying and fasting. One, we told you, be an honest person. Yes. Yes. Secondly here, be a man who desires peace. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There are preachers who like to cause problems. He said, don't be like that. Yes, sir. Because all these things, God will never manifest through you. Yes, yes. Be a man of peace. Yes, Be a man of peace. Yes, Some people don't like peace. Yes, you know this thing, if you say it, it will deliber deliberately upset several quarters. Except the Lord tells you to. But if not, then don't do it. Because God will not like to come and settle with a man who does not endeavor peace. Apostle peace. Be a man of peace. And be honest about it. Okay. Now, one final explanation I want to give you in today's class is found in Genesis chapter 1. So that you can understand how, how 
See, in the Old Testament, God, okay, let, 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 me, let me read it first. Genesis chapter 1, verses 26. I, I'll do the reading so that you can understand something here. Like we said, you don't need to be a spirit for God to relate with you. Yes, God already gave you a soul yes, that his spirit can relate with. Yes, sir. Strengthen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then give you a body for contact and relationship. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So your soul actually is supposed to be in tune with the Holy Spirit while your body is for contact. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gravity, social yes, sir. interaction. And of course, your mind is one of the faculties of the soul. So yes, you can relate better. But here, he says here, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Now, you may wonder how can God fit into me? Yes. How can God really fit into me? Well, originally, he already said, the Elohim already said, let us make man in our image. After our likeness, let them have dominion. Let them have dominion. So, God made man in his image. In the image of God, created he him. Male and female, created he them. And blessed them. And said, be fruitful and multiply. Okay. Now, Genesis chapter 2, verses 5. The Bible says, everything was in the earth. For the Lord had not caused it, nothing had grown, for the Lord had not caused it to rain, because there was no man to till the ground. So there was a time there was no man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But there was a decision to create a man in God's image. Yes, sir. But now there was a time there was no man. And so because there was no man, nothing grew. Yes, sir. Okay. Verse 7. God, from the dust of the ground, planted him, I'm sorry, made man and breathed into his nostrils. A man became a living soul. Okay, so Genesis chapter 2, verses 15 to 17, he told him, um, eat of everything in the garden, thou may freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat. Okay. For in the day you eat, you will die. Genesis chapter 3, verses 1. Um, now the serpent was more clever than all the beasts of the field. He came to the woman and said, Did God say you should not eat any of the fruit of the garden? Oh, the woman said, No. God said, We can eat everything in the garden. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil in the midst of the garden, we should not eat. Yes, sir. For in the day we eat, we will die. Then the serpent said, You will not surely die. Now, look at it. Ye shall not surely die. Now, there are people who say, I, I, I wouldn't have fallen if I was in these shoes. God already told you, if you eat, you will not die. Mm. Then you heard someone who has been there before you came. Exactly. He's telling you, actually, you will not really die. Notice why he fell. The reason why he fell was this word, surely. surely. It is not really true. So pay attention to the tenses. You shall not surely die. Mm -hmm. I can assure you of that. It won't happen. So it looks like this happened. Mm -hmm. You know something we don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I like to know what you know no, no, no. that we don't know. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. The said, very well, I'll tell you. Hey. For God himself knows that in the day you eat thereof, your eyes will be open and you shall be as God. Actually, this version was wrong when it says as God's there. As though the word God is in plural. No, yeah. it was just one G-O-D. Because it was the Lord God who was saying it. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Now, first of all, 
notice, the serpent here, it doesn't matter what you think, but be truthful. The serpent here did not lie to Adam and did not lie to Eve. You're right, it's true. He says, your eyes will be open. Is that not what many desire today in the churches? Yes, sir. They want their eyes to be open. Yes, sir. To see. Yes, sir. Yes. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Even yes, sir. people who come to meet our Papa for prayers, they just pray. Yes, sir. Open my eyes. Yes, sir. I want to be able to see. Yes, is that not what is happening today? Yes, sir. So you see why it is easy for such people to be deceived? Yes, sir. But the deception is not with a lie. The deception is even with truth. Yes, sir. That's the thing. Yes, sir. That's why it's a deception. Yes, sir. The enemy will never deceive you with a lie. He will deceive you with truth. Yes, sir. Because he knows that that's what you desire. Is it not what you want? The enemy? When a woman who has been barren and wants to have children meets a voodoo priest, and the voodoo priest says, you will have children, is that a lie? No. Is that not what she desires? Yes. Please answer now. Yes, is that not what she desires? Yes, sir. And then she finally becomes pregnant. Is, does that look like a lie? No. I want to show you something. He says, even God knows you will be like him. You will be like him. I thought we were already like him. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. He says, there are two sides of God. Ah. There is the image and likeness of God. Yes, sir. Then there is the likeness of God that comes through knowledge. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You will be like God, knowing, knowing. Yes. So there are people who look very beautiful, and you say, "Who? This one is truly God's creation." Yet can't see Jack. Then there are others. You say this must be God because they see anything. Yeah. You say, brother, you are really omnipotent. You are, you are omnipresent. Yes, sir. You see everything. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do. So you see here, we are being introduced to another kind of man who is like God, knowing everything. Yes, sir. This is where the prophetic ministry was introduced. Wow. Wow. This is where the prophetic ministry, because God didn't want man to know anything. The prophetic ministry is a ministry where you have access to every knowledge. Yes, sir. And it's too dangerous. Mm. Because what you know is the truth. Mm. And you can know something that it will destroy you, but right. it's the truth. <laughs> the first time, the first vision I had in, into this work, into the prophetic ministry, was my burial. Mm. When the angel of the Lord visited me, he said, I want to take you somewhere. And he took me, we told some of us about that vision. Yes, and he showed me, I saw a casket open, and I saw people gathered, they were crying. And the casket was open. You know those caskets that, well, you may not know, but there are some caskets that are like beds. Yes, yes. Yes. Open. Yes. 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 So, and I looked at, ah, uh, then she said, look again. Right, and I looked. And I said, but that's me. But I was rolling on the casket. I said, but he's not dead yet. <laughs> yeah. I said, what does that mean? He said, oh, he's actually, he desires to go, but the people don't want him to go. I said, but what's the truth about his state? He said, actually, he's dead. Mm -hmm. I said, but I'm here. I'm not dead yet. Uh -huh. I said, because I know that's me. Mm. Because I was seeing myself. Mm. The angel said, well, that's the first thing you need to know. First of all, you are dead. Mm. Yes. You are dead to men. Wow. He said, actually, spiritually, that's your state. You are, you are dead. I said, I said, is everybody like this? He said, no. He said, but for you, you have to be this way. I said, why? He said, because of what I've given you to do. Then he took me and showed me other things. 
and told me the number of years I will live before I die, mm. and told me how I will die. Mm. So I've seen everything. Mm. So I know when I will die. Wow. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> it's good to know. <laughs> so that you are not taken by surprise. Say, ah, ah, am I dead? You don't know. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. I actually know. I know the number of years I will live here. Amen. Amen. So you see, like we said, um, seeing, knowing things can be very harmful. You need to understand, the first thing these people knew was death. Mm -hmm. That's what we're trying to tell you. Yes, sir. Because you're assessing a realm that is not your plane of life. True, true, true. Yes, sir. And trying to prophesy about people's addresses, you are going into their spiritual world to know about them. Mm -hmm. And you don't know the forces you might meet there. Wow. Who can see you as a sworn enemy oh. for trying to help someone through prophecy. So anyone can call themselves a prophet, but you don't know what they are putting your hands into. Because you were able to call one house address, you were happy. Praise God. But you don't know what spirit you provoke. Now, notice. This, this aspect of knowledge, being like God through knowledge, was never revealed to Adam. This was not revealed to the woman. So you find now two revelations. The revelation of submission and obedience. Dress, but don't eat. That was given to Adam. Now there was a revelation of being like God through knowledge. After all, this woman, you are supposed to be the helper to the man. So you should know everything like the way God knows everything. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You don't understand. You don't understand. With this knowledge, it will mean that Eve knew how she was made from Adam. Because only God knew how it was done. Even Eve will know how Adam was made. That Adam himself did not know. He says you will be like God. Yes, sir. You will know what is good, what is evil. That means he became the first judge of mankind. Jesus. Because to be a good judge, you must be able to tell what is right from what is wrong. Yes, sir. Do you know what Christianity is today? Do you know what the knowledge of God's word is today? No, the desire of the knowledge of God's word. Okay, go to Hebrews. So that you can know yes, what this happened told Eve is what many Christians today are desiring to attain. Mm. Hebrews chapter 5, so that you can see something. Verses 11. So that I didn't write the Bible. You will see something. So you are twisting it. I didn't twist anything. Is it not your Bible? Here he talked about Jesus and Melchizedek and talked about their priesthood. Then he said, of whom we have many things to say and hard to be uttered. And that's the case today. There are many things we still cannot say. But of whom we have many things to say and had to be uttered. Seeing ye are dull of hearing. So he's talking to a bunch of dull people. Yes, sir. Okay. For when, for the time you ought to be teachers, you need that one teach you again. Which be the first principles of the oracles of God. Kindergarten stage of Christianity. And also have become such as have need of milk and not so strong meats. Okay. For everyone that is on, that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness. So the word of God, the word of righteousness needs a man with skill yes, sir. to interpret it. Not anyone can just preach because you just finished Bible college. Sorry. This thing requires skill. Yes, sir. Okay. For such a person now, who is unskillful in the word of righteousness, is a babe. But strong meat, now follow this carefully. But strong meat belonged to them that are full age. You see why the serpent came? 
Because Adam was not made a baby. Yes. Eve was not produced a baby. Yes. They were made grown ups. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He says, so, so what this happened was suggesting was strong meat. God wanted them to eat milk. The serpent was proposing strong milk. And see what Paul now said. Paul says, but strong meat belongs to them that are full age. Even those by reason of practice use. Have those who by reason of practice have their senses exercised to discern what? Both good and evil. Is that not what the serpent suggested? You will know good and evil. Which is what the word of God will later be doing in the lives of men in the future. Yes. Wow. Yes. So which means that this serpent was communicating an aspect of God to the woman that God didn't want man to know. God wanted Adam to just only see him as a good God. The serpent said God can be evil. <laughs> it's a knowledge. You will be like God. You will know good and evil. Now, go to Genesis chapter 3. Let, let's just close with that. Because as far as the serpent was concerned, he believes he was giving strong meat yes. to the woman. Yes. But notice, it was not yet time. Yes. He was communicating something that was not right at that time. Yes. But, but, verses 1 of chapter 3 of Genesis says the serpent was more clever. Mm. So, he had the ability, the mind, the capabilities to contain the knowledge of God yes, and know God. Yes, so which means for him to have this knowledge, he himself was also like God already. Yes, but now he's suggesting, he's seeking an ally <laughs> to bring Adam down because he believes that Adam does not deserve what God has given him. Because this guy is an ignorant fool. Do you understand? Yes. It's like a man say, somebody took my wife. Where were you when the man, when Johnny Walker came and took your wife? Your wife away? <laughs> when she was saying she was going to Walmart. Mm. You didn't know. So, I don't monitor my wife. We didn't say you should monitor. But at least, you should have been able to discern. <laughs> Within one week, you've gone to Walmart three times. Uh-uh, mm. sister. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you going to the G? Is it G or which one? Oh my three times. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We didn't say you should follow her, but you just like uh-uh. Then you now notice, uh uh-uh. Before she never used to make her now she's doing her hair now very well. Uh-uh. We didn't say to Walmart, but it can be, you know, she's just doing her hair. Say, ah. <laughs> say, well, praise God, the Lord. You know, Brother Ossie, you preach that we should be dressing well. So, I just believe, don't, don't bring Brother Ossie into this one. <laughs> yeah. Maybe your wife was seeking knowledge. Praise God. At Walmart. But now, go to that verse. Four into verses five. <laughs> Adam, that ignorant fool, was just the same. It's okay, it's you people. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God does know that in the day you eat, instead of death, your eyes will be opened. And you shall be as God, knowing good and evil. Now, and when the woman saw, that means her eyes already opened, without even eating already. Knowledge has given her new sight. When the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was Pleasant to the eyes. And a tree desired to make one wise. And through this wisdom, she believes that she will be filled with the fullness of God. Okay. She took of the fruit and did it. Okay. Now, go to verses. Okay, go to verses 8 first. Read verses 8. Let's be fast, please. One to go. Okay. 
see that. Wait, this is a new man now. I, I never, originally when I created you, your desire was not to seek for knowledge. Your, your desire was to walk and be submissive. Yes, sir. Because if you are going to rule over everything, you must know how these things work. Yes, yes sir. Yes. yes, sir. Just dress and keep the garden. Yes, yes sir. But now, who have you been talking to? Notice, God didn't say, what are you saying? I never told you that. He says, who? So God always knew there's a who. Yes, sir. Who told you that? Ah. Wow. Who is that person who knows what I know? Uh, who told you that you are naked? Did you do what I told you not to do? Okay. Now, of course, we all know he blamed it on the woman. The woman blamed it on the serpent. Yes, and the list goes on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, go to, go to verses 22. Hear what the Lord said. Read verses 22. One to go. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us to know good and evil. And you, see, you see that? Read that first part again. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us to know good and evil. Again. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us to know good and evil. So who is he? Who are the us he's talking to? The Elohim. He said, ah, this guy is not like us. He knows everything now. But I thought the original intention was to make man in your own image. Yeah. But not to know what we know. He can rule without knowing what we know. That's why when you look at the story of Daniel in Babylon with the Nebuchadnezzars, it was an exact picture. The kings were ruling with dominion. Daniel had the knowledge of the spirits yes, of the gods. Yes, Knowing everything. Yes, yes. <laughs> so here he's saying choose. Because you can't be both. You're either a king with dominion which was what God desired for Adam. Yes, sir. Or you're going to be an instrument mm. for spirits to use, which means you'll be operating as a God with yes. knowledge. Yes. Mm. Wow. Okay, so God said this man already attained it. Why is Paul desiring it for the Hebrew church? He said because of their immaturity. Mm. They should be able to discern between good and evil. But God didn't even want this guy to even know. Yes, sir. Because he was supposed to be a ruler. And his kind of rulership, he was never to involve himself in matters of revelation, knowledge of spirits. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because that would bring him into our realm of life. <laughs> you see why it took Adam 930 years before he died? Mm, it yes, took sir. him 930 years because he was already like God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But the serpent has not died yet. Mm. That means the, 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 that evil spirit, mm. that Satan, right? Yes, yes sir. sir. He's still not dead yet. Mm -mm. But Adam died. Mm -hmm. But at least he had access to a knowledge. Yes, sir. Do you see why even Adam, till he died, he never prayed? Mm. Yeah. Never, never prayed. He was a God. Mm. <laughs> God brought him, God acknowledged he is now like us. Yes, 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 so when God is holding a meeting with his sons, like the way Satan walked in, Adam yes. could walk in. Wow. He is wow. not like us. He knows good and evil. So you see, the thing is that, <laughs> you see, the truth of the matter is that, even though Satan did not lie to Adam and Eve, God wanted to be the one to usher them into that realm of life. Yes, because Adam was his product, not yes, Satan's sir. product. Yes, sir. 
And that's why you must be careful that the one who did not make you, that God did not use to raise you up, should not be the one giving you revelation yes, on the kind of life you should live. So where was this happening when God made man from the dust of the ground? And now he has you. See that? See. So there is a man in the image of God. There is another one who has the knowledge of God. And that one, that kind of person, even God himself. Notice, he had to send a cherub to drive him away. Say, we can't be, we can't have two captains in the same ship. Two of us can't be here. You know everything we know, but who is ruling over who? Brother, go. Go to another plane of life. The plane where men die. And it took him 900 years before the guy, before death conquered him. This guy was stronger than death. There's a knowledge you can have that can put you above death. And it will take death many years to bring you down. Wow. He says, true knowledge shall the just be delivered. True knowledge. But this guy was a body and soul. He was not a spirit. Yet lived that long. Christians today who are calling themselves spirits, die at 75. 120, 180. <laughs> but other than body and soul, the guy still lived for 930 years. Methuselah, who never tasted what the garden was, any fruit from the garden, still lived longer than Adam. Exactly. Yes, that is true. Ah, exactly. What was he eating? Uh, what was he eating? Uh, what was his gene like? Uh, <laughs> That's what we're telling you. It is knowledge. It is knowledge. Methuselah had a knowledge of longevity yes. that no human being to this day still knows. Yes, it doesn't matter how celebrated you are as a Christian. There's a knowledge. knowledge. That's what we tell some people. The miracles Moses worked, no man of God still has done it yet. Mm. Yet Moses was not a Christian. Mm. Very authentic. Moses. (laughs) Brother, it's my time, it's my time. It's my time, it's my time. Yes, sir. sir. See, it says true knowledge shall shall the just be delivered. What did the Lord complain about? My children are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. But there was a time, oh God, you didn't want this man to know. God says, eh. But the way choice, the, the life, the way the foundation of the earth are out of course today. And the kind of life man is living. Man needs knowledge. Eh? He needs knowledge to be able to win. Yes. See that? That's why I'm a winner. That's why I'm a winner. That's why I'm a champion. That's why I will never fail in my life. Listen, this knowledge, you don't know what it's doing to you. You just find yourself living life longer and better. Then you will know that you acquired the right knowledge. Just one knowledge from the serpent made Adam last 930 years. Even though God drove him away from his presence. The guy still lived. There was a knowledge that kept him alive. Yes, sir. How much more this right knowledge exactly. of God? Yes, ah. There's a reason why we are alive. <laughs> yes, sir. That's why we say we will see the end of this matter. We'll 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 see the end of this matter. You don't sound like you believe. We'll see the end of this matter. Surely, surely see. Surely, surely. I'm like God in knowledge. Because God gave me access to it. Yeah? So, so you need to understand, we are not relating with the serpent. No way. It is the God knowledge. So that our soul can be strengthened. Yes, sir. Why did Adam really fall? Because his soul was weak. He had a weak soul. He couldn't say no to his wife. His soul was weak. That's why God said, because you have hacked. He switched to loyalty. Yes, sir. Yeah. No. No. My loyalty is to the Lord. Oh. My loyalty is to the Lord. And to the vision of our father, Papa Joshua. Yeah. Yes, sir. And that's the truth. And that's the truth. Yeah. So decide what you want. Yes, sir.
Decide what you want. Decide what you really want in your life. How you want to, to live it. There's a knowledge for longevity. Yes! Yes, yes sir! Yeah? Being able to design good from evil. Yes, yes sir! It will keep you long. If you know that today there will be an accident that will kill you, would you travel? No! What do you think you have just done? Yeah? That's a knowledge for longevity. See now. You are not just living a long, miserable life. You are living a, a life that is long, vibrant, and best. Victorious. A victorious, a victorious life. There's somebody that they are feeding with you oh, and all no that. Way. No, how did you get there? No, not. See, even, even with the disobedience of Adam and Eve, they did not end up in the hospital with you. They did not end up in the hospital with you. Do you understand? They were victorious over death for a very long time. Before death won for the first time. It took that 930 years. But only God knew how long Adam had lived before the fall. Yes, the fall took, made him last 930 yes, years. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's true. It's true. Because there was a knowledge yes, sir. that made him like God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. There's a knowledge. That's a knowledge. You know, sci you watch some movies today, science fiction movies today of immortals and all yes, that. Sir, yes, they are looking for one thing yes, that they can drink and stay alive yes, sir. and all that. Yes, sir. But that thing they are looking for to drink, to stay alive, someone created it. Yes, and sir. the one who created it never drank it. But one person is fighting yes, sir. to... Yes, sir. That's, the, yes, sir. that's the foolishness in the movie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But for God, yes. He created immortality. Yes, he lives in it. Yes, sir. Immortality is God's atmosphere. Yes, sir. God is saying your own immortality is knowledge. Yes, As it enters you, it renews you. Yes, yes, sir. As it enters, it renews you. Yes, sir. Well, maybe you don't believe it. Yes, See, listen. The first time Jesus visited me, and the three times he has visited me, Jesus looks the same. Mm -hmm. Now, I can tell you categorically that with my experience with Jesus face mm -hmm. to face, like the way I'm seeing you, you're seeing me. Amen. Even when he sat, I look older. Mm. Wow. Because he died in his 30s. Oh. I, I, still, I, I personally still look older than he mm. looks. Wow. But he's very majestic. Wow. He's boss. Mm. But... That's why some of you, we tell you, some of you, the young people, you are trying to look old. Oh, go and shave, look better. Before Jesus comes, I say, who is this one? Uh, and even you say, even if Jesus tells you he is Jesus, you say, who are you? Go and say, are you this small boy? Please say what you want to say. He, Jesus was very youthful. You see him. Yes, sir. Very youthful. Like yes, some of you now, you're already looking. Oh, oh. and say, Jesus, you know, it's because I li lived longer than you. Oh. Oh. The Bible says, Moses, mm. his eyes did not go deep. Yes, yes, his physical force yes. did not abate. Yes, he was not bowed over. No. He was stronger than ever. Yes, and he made Jesus at the matter of transformation. Yes, sir. And they were talking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's a knowledge for longevity. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is what keeps this body yes. and your soul intact. Yes. Yes, sir. It's a knowledge. Yes, sir. Do you know the day you die, the day you stop knowing what mm. you should know mm. that will keep you alive? Yeah. Not the day you stop taking medication. The day you stop knowing what you should know. So there are some people, they have already expired. Mm. Look at even some of the churches they go to. When you look at even their church, look at the past. You say, man, this one, this one, these people are finished already. Because the God that we know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was the day that know they are yes. God. Yes. I know my God. Yes. I know my God. Yes. They that know they are God. Yes, they shall be strong yes, sir. and they shall do exploits. Yes, so talk to the Lord. Lord, I thank you for giving me access Lord, to knowledge for longevity. Lord, 
and vibrancy. Yes. And victory and strength. My soul is strengthened. I carry the fullness of God. Which means I carry immortality in me. I carry the fullness of God. Therefore, I carry immortality in me. 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 Bless his name. Bless his name.